Hey YouTube, it's Sean again. And um, apparently I, um, I live across the street from the high school and uh, they wake me up every once in a while and let me know that I live across the street from the high school and they're having a football game. So never mind the annoying noises and all the weirdos. We're going to go back here and I'm going to show you how we have a gasoline generator that I have converted to run on gasoline or propane. Um, not one, not the other, but both. Um, show you how it works. It's pretty darn simple. It's just a Chinese generator, which we have had really good luck with. It's just got a little Honda Cologne motor on it. And it's, uh, there it is. We've seen it in another video that I've posted. But um, there's the key, there's the, f the regulator, the fuel. But um, this regulator right here, really cheap. All you need is a propane torch. And you adjust it to where it's just slightly rich. And um, she'll run whatever you want to run. But let's, let's show you how it works, YouTube. First of all, you need a hose, and it's, you know, the coupling that goes into the, it's just an adapter, basically. It goes from uh, the propane torch up to, let me flip you over here so you can get a better view. There we go. Yep, it just converts over from the low, low pressure over to the high pressure that's all it does you just screw it in there by hand done then you have your normal propane tank fitting and you have a 20 pound propane tank normal tank that you just thread you're fitting into if I could get it to thread into it that'd be good hey there we go just thread it in there uh, let me go get something to tighten that up with YouTube not real good to run it that way because it could leak causing a fire danger so, got ourselves a crescent wrench. Go from there. These left-handed threads are always nice, aren't they? There we go. Alright, so, I just turned the tank on. Just all the way on. No biggie. And let's start it on actual propane, so that you you know it's running on propane. All right, so I have my gasoline. Well, it's got gas in it. So let's shut the gas off. I just shut the gas. It's off. Yep, yeah, it's off. So uh, let's start it on gasoline and let it die. And then we'll switch it over and run it on propane. There's the, I, 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 I got rid of the key. It had a key here. Now I just have a start button and on and off switch because we tow it behind our trailer. You gotta be able to turn the power off so that if something hits that button, it won't do anything. Turn it on, it rolls over. So we'll let it run out of gas, YouTube. It's running on gasoline right now. And then when it gets done running out of gasoline, We'll switch it over to propane. 
I got the tank shut off right now on the gasoline and I got the propane tank turned on so when it gets done running out of fuel we will uh, see how she goes nope see she puts out good power there's there's the first signs of it running out of gas this used to be for 220 right here it used to be a multi-plug where you could run it on 220 or 120 I switched it over to just 120 because it's it's only a 4,000 watt generator. It doesn't have enough amperage to run 220. And the in the U.S., you know, most of our stuff is uh, 120. So that's what I went with. And it has. Uh, the AVR voltage regulator. It has a battery charger on here. She's done, YouTube. That's all the gasoline in it. So now our propane tank is turned on. Now let's start it up on propane. there is running off that propane tank YouTube I don't know if we can find something to run it off of let's see what we can find power drill maybe a little drill I don't know let's see what we can do YouTube forge forge and more forge all right let's see if we can uh, five and a half amps or 5.2 amps there you go 5.2 amps but that's a propane conversion for you YouTube you don't need to spend big money on those propane conversion kits you can do it yourself and if you have any questions comment rate and subscribe to my channel and I'll answer every question just to prove it's a running on propane, let's watch it die. Here we go. Should start stuttering any time, YouTube. It's not going to take long on propane to die. There it goes. be it she done there you go YouTube that is the propane conversion for you anyway again if you have questions on how to do this or what you need to do this to your generator let me know and it doesn't matter what size as long as it's got the Chinese clone and uh, 
Well, I don't even think, I think you could do it with a Briggs generator or a Tecumseh generator. But uh, all you got to do is have the fittings and the hose and you're done. Hook it up, you're done. I'll show you what I've done just in case you're curious on how to uh, hook it to the carburetor because I've kind of left that a mystery having an IU tube. Let's see if we can't uh, finagle this air cleaner out of here. All right. See, this is the hose running from where you adjust your fuel mixture. I just got it zip tied to the frame. Runs on down, goes on in where I drilled a hole. Right about there on the air cleaner box. With an eighth, eighth inch fitting, I soldered in a piece of eighth inch copper tube right here little piece of copper tubing. I just bent that copper tubing in to where it goes into the throat of the carburetor. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Now you want to get it in the throat of the carburetor, but you don't want to interfere with your choke, see? The choke has to actually open and close. So there you go. That's all I did. That feeds the fuel into the throat of the carburetor and it'll run just fine off propane or gasoline depending on if you have your gas on here or your gas on over there that's it there you go YouTube take care rate comment subscribe thanks guys bye